Alrighty guys, so I want to go over seven stocks in this video that I'm looking at right now. We're going to break down some charts, my thoughts on these stocks, and of course what I'm looking to do. So without further ado, let's not waste any time. And I just realized I have my dog's hair in my face. What the heck? You guys know how that goes. If you all find value, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. And don't forget to get up to 15 free stocks from Momo. Link down below. It's free money, guys. We'll talk more about that later. And now let's dive into it. So the first stock on the list, which you guys can see right here, is none other than Apple ticker symbol AAPL, which actually had a pretty decent red day today, down 1.6% on the day, closed at 162 bucks a share, down $2.60 on the day. And what we're noticing here right off the bat, guys, which we have talked about before, but we're doing an update right now. We're doing a bit of a refresher, right? We have an inverse head and shoulders on Apple. We have the left shoulder right here. We have the head right here. And we have the good old right shoulder right here. And mind you, this is on the 184 hour chart. So keep that in mind. And one prominent resistance that we also have here. Well, there's many prominent resistances, but one key one that we're getting rejected at right now is at about a 165 bucks, which was the high from the middle of September, which is where we hit before we ended up collapsing all the way down to 125 bucks by the beginning of this year. You guys can see right here from pretty much the middle of September to the beginning of this year, Apple stock got destroyed. It went down about 40 bucks a share, or in other words, roughly 20 five percent which is a pretty big move down for any stock but especially for apple the biggest well i don't think it's the biggest company anymore um either way one of the biggest companies in the world so the fact that we ran up we got overbought last week or was that the week before actually no that was last week we got overbought we got rejected at 165 now we're pulling back this is giving the bears not the advantage per se but the bears are here to play let's just uh let's just put it that way and i just realized that rhyme i know you guys like that. So yeah, we pretty much got rejected at 165, which again was that high from the middle of September. Now we're holding on, by, uh, you know, well, actually we're under the 50 SMA, which means there actually could be a little bit more downside here on Apple. Maybe it comes down to 155, 156-ish, uh, you know, which would put it right by the 180 SMA here on the four hour chart. And that's kind of what I'm seeing. You know, yes, the bulls are still in charge, no doubt about it, if we're looking here on, you know, the four hour, especially if we zoom in a little bit. But again, the bears are here to play, at least for now. You know, maybe we can see a little bit more downside. There could be some more work on the downside here on Apple. And if it does come down, let's say, and mind you, it's pretty oversold as it is. But if it comes down even more down to 155, even 160 bucks, 158 bucks, that's where I'd be looking to pull the trigger on some Apple, maybe as a trade, maybe as a, you know, a continuation play, a bounce back play, whatever you want to call it. So keep your eyes on Apple here moving forward, AAP. And of course, AMD, guys, let's pull it up and do an update here on AMD, which today had a very good day. 3.3% green day up to 95 bucks a share, up three bucks a share on the day. And now we're noticing clearly we're getting a bounce off the 180 SMA. And now we're testing the 50 SMA here on the four hour chart, which is right by a key level of resistance. If I pull up this 20 day chart, you'll be able to see it, right? I'll show you here. Let me actually get the channel tool to draw it out for you guys. We have a clear down channel here on AMD, which today was great. We had a 3% green day, but we're not quite yet breaking out of it. So if we do take out this point right here, 96, the 180 SMA, that's where this could really start to fully break out. And we could be shooting for that 100, 102 level, which is where this stock was in the final days of March. So I'm going to set my alert. Let me do this now. Mark is at or above 90. I'll put it at 96.50. We'll see where it goes from there. Mark is at or above 96.50 here on AMD. And again, we just have to see a breakout of this channel. It did very well today, but it's not fully breaking out quite yet. If we want to see this thing go for the hundreds again, the you know 105 level, that point needs to break, 96.50. And we also had today Coinbase do very well. Coinbase went up 7.6%. And now for the first time in a couple of, you know, pretty much 10 days, two weeks, maybe a little bit more than that, we're starting to break past the moving averages, which is great. 7.6% green day. Looks like we are holding a higher low on the four-hour chart. Let me show you guys this. And we're starting to pop 
over, again, those moving averages, which is a good sign here for the Bulls. And, of course, there was a whole scare with the SEC, which is still going on, so keep that in mind. You know, things are unfolding, but it seems like it's taking a bit of a breather right now. Maybe, you know, the markets are slowly forgetting. You know, the markets are quick to forget a lot of the times, <laughs> you know, especially when we have a decent day overall in the overall stock market. So that could be a reason why we're getting a nice pop in Coinbase, and I think there could be some more upside towards 70 bucks. You know, 70 bucks is a key level of resistance here looking at this chart and if 70 were to break guys we have a wide open gap towards 85 now now will it go straight to 85 no I mean probably not you know in a day or two I mean nobody knows exactly what's going to happen but you know it might it might get there over time it might take a couple of weeks maybe a month or two to get there uh but overall well now that I'm looking at this the last time we took 70 out we got to 85 in two days no joke two days you can see it right here I'm not saying that's going to happen again but all I'm saying is if we do uh, if we do take 70 out we're going to get some momentum towards the mid 70s 80s who knows how long it's going to take to get there all I know is that's the direction that it will be trending in so Coinbase keep your eyes on it we also have Coca-Cola to talk about which I think overall guys is very overvalued from a long-term perspective no doubt about it but if we're looking at it from a trading perspective this thing has been reversing for quite some time time. Look at this. We have a nice golden cross. We're well above the moving averages. And today it went down a little bit, about 15 cents, not too bad. But again, we're still riding these moving averages heading into earnings in about two weeks from now. When are these earnings? On the 24th? Yeah, exactly two weeks from now on the 24th in the morning is when Coca-Cola is reporting earnings. So we have a key resistance coming up at about 65-ish maybe around 66 you guys can see from a couple of months ago this is where we could be testing um you know moving forward maybe it goes towards that 65 level 66 and if it does start getting there it's going to be overbought guys keep that in mind but there could be some money to be made in the meantime here on coca-cola and if you guys haven't gotten up to 15 stocks yet for mumu what are you waiting for use that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash mumu once you open up an account with mumu you get one free share of stock right off the bat and if you deposit at least 100 bucks you get four more stocks totaling five free stocks and listen to this guys if you deposit at least a thousand bucks you get another 10 stocks totaling 15 free stocks it's literally free money, guys. And they're doing a paper trading competition right now, which if you win that paper trading competition, you get another 1500 bucks in cash and you get one month free of Benzinga Pro. And mind you guys, all those links down below are affiliate links. So if you do use that Moomoo link, you do get some free stocks. It helps out the channel as well. I appreciate you all as always. And now let's dive into the fourth or the fifth stock, whatever. I think it's the actually the, um, the fifth stock here, which is... Intel. Let me pull it up and show you guys. Intel's been doing very well as of late, and now it's starting to cool off. So where could this thing end up cooling off to? Well, we can see a key support coming up at about 31-ish dollars, which right now we're at 32 dollars and 50 cents. Intel actually went down about one percent on the day today, and if we do start coming down a little bit more. $31, maybe it breaks that and goes to, you know, $30, $30.50. That's going to be a very attractive spot on clearly a stock that is, uh, you know, you know, building momentum and breaking out. That'd be an attractive dip spot or dip buy spot, whatever you want to call it, on Intel if it finds its way anywhere from 30 to 31 bucks. And of course, if we start breaking under 30 bucks, well, that would not be the best case scenario. You know, th th that wouldn't be the best, but as of now, we're clearly above 30, 31. Let's see if we can hold that. And if we do hold that, the Bulls will be in charge 100%. So I'm keeping my eyes peeled on Intel, no doubt about it, and also applied materials. Let me pull that up. Ticker symbol AMAT, which today had a 2% green day pretty much. Very nice day today for applied materials. And it is still down around 10 bucks from the recent highs. Let me show you that. It is down about 7%. So clearly, guys, we're holding an uptrend on applied materials. We have that you know clearly you know ho holding at this point we have higher lows higher lows higher lows now let's see if we can break back over the moving averages right around 117.18 if that does start to break guys we, we get that next leg up we could be going towards 120 125 maybe even higher so I just set my alert at 118 bucks here on applied materials AMAT and we'll see where it goes from there and last but not least and by the way if you stuck till the end let me know in the comments say stuck till the end drop a money emoji 
Drop any emoji for that matter, guys. The last stock is none other than Nucor, ticker symbol N-U-E. Let me pull that up and show you guys. Nucor right now is clearly at a point of, it's a moment of truth spot right here for Nucor, which is why my alert set at 155. We can see here, we arguably have a head and shoulders forming, no doubt. You guys see that. We have the left shoulder right here, the head's right here. Then we have the right shoulder, you know, kind of failing at the neckline, which is right by 155, hence why my alert's at 155. So if we do start to take out that level, that 155 mark, and honestly, 160 as well. Let me put my alert, another alert at 160. That's where we could start to get that breakout on new core and you ease the ticker. The head and shoulders would be out the window and we could be making our ways back, our way back to 175, maybe 180. Maybe it starts to break that high, which is 182 from back in the beginning of February. That could be where this ends up, you know, playing out. Playing to, we'll see how it goes, guys. That is ticker symbol NUE, and we can also see clearly, guys, we're holding an uptrend here. We have higher low after higher low after higher low. Now, let's see if we can start to break above 155, 160, and where it could go from that point. So, what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and my second channel, Stocks Talks Money, which is linked down below. And if you guys haven't gotten up to 15 stocks yet for Moomoo, what are you waiting for? Use that link, open up an account, get all your free stocks. All the details are linked down below. Check out the Patreon as well. And if you want some more stocks, you get 12 more stocks from Weeble also linked down below. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys later.